I'm Al Brunel, I'm 29 years old, and I've been skating for 20 years. Right now I'm an MRI technologist full-time and skateboarding all the other time. I started skateboarding in the year 2000. My uh, aunt got me a skateboard for Christmas and from there everything changed. Uh, my parents are very supportive parents as far as skateboarding goes. They would take me to skate parks, they would take me to skate comps. Um, did a lot of skate comps growing up when I was younger and been doing it ever since um, you know skateboarding wasn't paying the bills so to say as much as I wish it would so I had to go get a backup plan I've always been interested in the medical imaging aspect of uh, the healthcare field you know looking at bones muscles tissues ligaments all that stuff and it just incorporates with skateboarding when you fall you know you have to go get checked out if it's serious you have to go get an image to figure out what to do to get better and MRI is the future of healthcare imaging. You know, there's no radiation, nothing in there that can hurt you. So if you go get an imaging done of some part, you know, wrist, ankle, whatever it is, you're gonna see everything and more than the things that you'd see on an X-ray or CT. And it does it for you without, you know, causing harm to any of your tissue or bones or anything like radiation does. So that's why I got into doing MRI. Some of the challenges you face in skateboarding I think are some of the challenges that you'd face in everyday life for anyone. For me, um, it's being an MRI technologist, you know, sometimes you'll do something wrong or you won't scan a patient correctly and you, they have to come back and get, you know, the scan done again and that falls with skateboarding, you know. You do a trick and you don't like the way it comes out, you keep doing it over and over and over again until you get it the way you want it to come out. and. That's also kind of correlates to my job. You know, you just keep trying and trying to, you know, get this scan better, be better at doing IVs, whatever it is, any of your job responsibilities, you know, you keep giving it that go like you would when you're trying to learn a new trick. You give it that, you know, that confidence, that motivation, that repetition of just trying it over and over till you get it right is, you know, the same motive that I try to use in all areas of my life. Balancing, uh, the, the balancing, I'm still trying to figure out. Um, but, you know, I would always put my, because uh, I was in school at the time and I was paying for it, I did put that stuff first. So, as long as I got that stuff done on a daily day or a day to day basis, when I'd get off, I would like go skate because I needed to clear my mind somehow. I used skating as my way to express myself. It's, um, it's liberating for me, so to say. And, um, after I would do all that hard stuff in MRI, scanning patients, you know, it is kind of draining. There's a lot of, you know, being attentive, paying attention, knowing what's going on. I would use that energy I have left over when I'm off to go skate, go have fun with friends and get ready for the next day or the next week or whatever it is. Now I'm doing all scans, you know, I'm a master tech is what they call uh, the tech that I am. I can work on, I can work on any MRI machine you put in front of me, I can do any scan. I think that dream has gone down the drain yet. I still think it is possible. Um, it does affect me, it does get in my head at times. I know I'm getting older, but it doesn't mean my level of skating is gonna become worse. You just have to take care of yourself more. You have to stretch, you have to drink water, you have to, you have to be smart about it. Um, you know, I'm not giving up on the pro skating thing. I don't think I ever will. Um, that's just the drive I have. I think that's the drive skateboarding has put in me. I'm not gonna quit, you know? No one's gonna make me stop. I'm gonna keep doing this, and if I don't get it, at least I know I gave it my best, and I've, I've had fun along the way while doing it, and I've gotten to meet some of the most epic people, like you, Dowdy. I think you should 100% go for it. You know, it is very hard, especially in the times we are in to make a living in skateboarding it is very difficult especially as a professional skateboarder especially if you have you know wants in your life if you want to start a family someday have you know kids it's it's really hard to do that just off skateboarding and um 
If you have any desires and other things you wanna do in life, you can do that and do skateboarding. You know, you can leave skateboarding at any time and come back to it at any time, whether you're old or not. I mean, I know age does have something to play with skateboarding as far as like getting old and trying the hard tricks, but if you guys are still young, you know, I say if you're under 40, just keep going for it. But I mean, again, I'm gonna skate till I'm aiming for 70, you know, I'm gonna keep doing it. That's that's the honest truth of it. This, it keeps me sane, <laughs> it honestly keeps me sane. If I didn't have skateboarding, I don't wanna know what I'd be doing. Okay, so the reason I started a channel is because, you know, I am 29 years old, as I said before, and my hopes, you know, of becoming a professional skateboarder, they're kind of, you know, I don't wanna say it's dying, but it is becoming harder and harder to make that happen. So. Now having something like YouTube, I can share my knowledge, everything I've learned through skateboarding throughout the years, and I can share it, you know, with the next generation, new generation, whoever, I can share it with you guys on YouTube, and I can spread that love, spread that knowledge I've gained in time so you guys can gain some, and YouTube is showing another way for skaters, you know, to make a living. So if you know, balance. I want to do skateboarding full time. So maybe if I start this YouTube in time, I could just do my skateboarding and, you know, maybe not have to do healthcare imaging forever. Not saying I don't like it because I do enjoy it and I do love helping others, but my true love is skateboarding. And if I could do that full time as a job, then I would. So you guys should go check out my channel because it's Al Brunel because you know, I'll show you guys uh, some new tricks, different ways and how to do these tricks, how to learn them, um, just by you know keeping, I'm just trying to keep the fun alive in skateboarding. And there's so many different ways to, that people look at skateboarding, you know, skateboarding culture can be toxic, but we're trying to take that toxicity out of it and just spread the love. We want everyone to have as much fun as we're having. and anything we're just trying to give you guys ideas so you can elaborate on it and make it even something better than what we had it as so you know go over there smash that subscribe button and uh, check out some of those videos and if you guys have any tips or anything I need to improve on or ideas for videos comment on there hit me up on Instagram whatever just try to get a hold of me because I love looking at that stuff and it gives me motivation to put some new stuff out so I'll see you guys over on my channel and uh, New trick tip videos coming every week and trying to get out just more day in the lives, having fun, what we're building, just what we're up to. So uh, come on over. Videos I think are getting better. I know my editing has a lot of work to do, but I'm doing it. Come be a part of the progress. Right? Yeah, come be a part of the progress. I would appreciate that.